Perfect. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Jesse and Ashley, thank you for taking a bit of time to talk about the, the amazing series. That all, the three seasons are amazing, and congratulations. Thank you. So, Jesse, I'm going to start with you. I, I love I Joe. Love Joe is always trying to you know, make herself count and make herself useful and, <laughs> and make sure, you know, that, that she's accounted for and that, that, you know, that David gets everything done or what he needs done. Do you, in, in your opinion, do you feel she's just pushing it a little bit just to make sure that, you know, hey, to come in, I'm here? Or or is, is it just, is that's how she is? I think this is just how she is. I think her her toolbox, so to speak, is just poisoned. She didn't get <laughs> a normal childhood. She probably was very unattended to, and she picked up lessons maybe from like mobster movies. And she was just like, that's how people act. That's the normal life. Um, so no, I don't think she's pushing. I don't think she's, I, I think this is just genuinely who she is. She's just a uh, agent of chaos. <laughs> I am an agent of chaos also, by the way, like the Joker references. I love it. Um, Jesse, you you again, I want to talk about, uh, without spoiling anything, a certain Joe that you get to work with in, in the series. And I want to know, he's such a, he has such a huge personality. How was it working with this certain person in this in this season? And what what happened between the two of you during the filming of that scene? Did you did you put into laughing? Because it seemed that you have got had, had a lot of fun with that scene. It was so fun. We did so much improv. He came with so many ideas. He was super comfortable. He jumped right into it. He and David Hornsby went to college together at Carnegie Mellon. So they already had a bunch of shorthand. And the three of us just improvised that scene for a couple hours. And it was a blast. I remember I loved that scene. And we shot that the day after our DPs had won the ASC award. So I remember on set that day, it was like a party. We had all these cupcakes. And there was just a really lovely camaraderie that day specifically. So uh, yeah, that episode was a thrill to shoot. And then he comes back later and it's it's a very fun storyline with tr the the team trying to get joe manganello to join the mythic quest movie yep yep ashley um let's, i'm coming to you now dana and rachel has i have a lot going for them there, there's a lot of changes happening there's a lot of growth happening for both the characters and the persons and i wonder if you had the chance to talk to rachel um you, you know actually talking to rachel what would you tell her you know i, I mean you know to give her some advice, life advice about where her life is going and how, and that if, and how she's, she can get there. What would you tell her? Oh, that's so funny. Um, I think I would tell her to like chill out a little bit first and foremost. <laughs> she could probably stand to calm down a touch. Um, I think I would tell her, you know, to sort of embrace what she wants to do versus what she thinks other people would want her to do. I think that's sort of, her issue in general is that she has a certain type of person she thinks she should be. And kind of what she realizes in the season is that maybe she doesn't quite fit into that. Um, so sort of embracing like who you are, not who you think you should be. Perfect. One final question for the two of you, open question. I, I cover also gaming. So I do a lot of gaming reviews also, but, but streaming and movies. So I wonder if you guys are gamers, what are you playing right now? Or what would you recommend my viewers to game, to, to buy, a game specifically to buy? Uh, Jesse, you first. Oh, I just discovered Sayonara Wild Heart. Do you know that game? Oh, yeah. And that's been really cool. I like that game. That's a deep cut. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> um, I'm replaying Mass Effect because I love that franchise. So um, the remaster is very good if you haven't played it. It's, that's the good time. I love Mass Effect. I, I, I like Jesse's recommendation. So again, thank you for the two of you for your time. And congratulations. Hopefully six more seasons because I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. And you, to the two of you, everybody has done such a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much.